what she said? She said, she doesn't think we know how to do this. Nobody heard that. This is the intro of the video. Welcome back. We're, We're Bourbon Junkies. Nice. We're going to tell you guys what the best affordable weeded whiskey slash bourbon on the market is right now. And Gabby said, left to right, like, we don't know how to do a blind. What if we did it right to left? It's still a blind. Now out of spite we should. All right, cool. <laughs> There's a new weeder on the market. It's the Green, Green River. River. It's like around 40-ish, 50-ish dollar range. Yeah. We thought since we liked it. Well, I mean, since the acquisition of um, Green River by Bardstown, they've changed out who's doing the blending yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, they've come out with this. We were really big fans of the re-release of the bourbon. Yeah. We had the wheat, really enjoy it, and said, well, we should run it again the other bargain yep. wheat, basically. So, and here we are. Wins. Listen, th I know some. this isn't findable for everybody, but if you're in Ohio and Texas, apparently it's free and findable. It's at freaking Kroger or whatever. Yeah. Larceny's obviously a very normal uh, weeded bourbon. We're generally not the biggest fans of it. We had to go buy a Maker's, and this is the only one that my wife could find because they didn't carry fists, but they had Maker's 101. Jordan? I don't think, no, we don't drink it. Yes, don't drink do. Oh, I wanted B-roll before that. But thanks, buddy. Jordan, cheers, buddy. I don't even know how old that is. Me neither. Man, does that feel like I have a drinking problem. It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty delicious. All right, seal her back up, dog. Jordan, thank you for the support, buddy. We appreciate you. Um, and you're an asshole at the exact same time. You know how long it took Sean to find this bottle? Sean went to four real liquor stores. Yeah. I said, no, 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 no. I was there Gas anywhere. Station. I go, buddy, you got to come out to the boondocks yep. where people only buy like plastic pints and Smirnoff ice. So. Hey, I guess we'll start on the left. Hey, yeah, against our will. That one smells good. Okay, I do like to preface this with. I don't generally like larceny, normal. I like the picks and the a out. lot of the barrel proofs. The picks are pretty good. Special reserve Garage. is always just fine. Makers I have never liked. No. Even like when we got into it, I didn't like it. I liked it. I like Green it River, histori I like. historically a lot more than you do. Yes. Yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at. This is not going to be it's my favorite good. blind of all time. A little peachy, like a peach tea. They're already in frame anyways. You might as well be in frame <clears throat> intentional. I like this idea a lot. I haven't, you know what I haven't done in a minute? Broken sun. <laughs> no. Both our thought processes were in theory the same exact thing. Different outcome or different ways to get there. You want to hear something really cool? What is your issue? I'm right going to teach you guys history. Mm. Why are you doing this? Because nor the reason larceny is shaped the way it is, is because if you had a full size Maker's Mark bottle, Maker's Mark fits in the larceny hump so that you could put them next to each other on a shelf and people would pick larceny. That's true marketing, swear to God. That's real life. It smells pretty good. This one smells fantastic. For this lineup, this one smells really great. Well, There's literally nothing wrong great. with it. There's nothing, we don't know the rest of the lineup yet. It's not spiky. No. It's sweet. It's just good. And that's just really crushable, oh. good whiskey, A is. B. Okay, this smells a little bit more uh, <clears throat> flowery. Oh, I kind of still like this. It's gentle though. It's not super rosy. It's still fruity. It Red has got fruit. some fruit in there. This one has both. It's like you wrap the rose petal around a strawberry. I'm gonna have to taste that again because I didn't get a taste on the first drink. That literally was empty. That's better than the first one, I think. The finish like is not a lingerer. She's not a lingerie, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -mm. Isn't it interesting how close the word lingerie and linger are? Not that close. Went to the Mall of America. Biggest Victoria's Secret I've ever seen in my life. Ricky pointed it out. You were that weird guy standing outside? No, I was that weird guy standing inside. Oh, yeah. even worse. I know. You don't know where to put Ricky's your like, eyes. I'm cause... gonna try on these bras. You should come with me. And I'm like, yeah, I should. She didn't mean in the dressing room, no. come to find out, which no, is get so awkward. lame. She's in there yeah. changing. And then you're there, hopefully holding the bag like, Wait, number I was wife. on my phone with a bag. I had a bag in my hand and I was on my phone. Dan's on his phone. One eternity later. Listen, um, I think I like this more than A. The um, flavor up front on the front of the palate is nicer. Drink, second drink was okay. First drink, I don't know if there was a transition from A to B. That one felt just so empty though. That is slightly nutty. I think that's a wheat funk. I think I just equate them to the same thing. You all right there? There's nothing wrong with it. 
Okay. There's a more of a finish on the second okay. drink for sure. Um, I don't know, B felt really empty for me still. Um, I'm gonna move on the C. What's the highest proof? 92. I this think is 90. 90. Larceny is 92. Everything else is 90. 90. 90. And this is a, a 90. Okay. Yeah. Wow, they were all really close then. Yeah, that was the point of the video. I right? think, no, that was not like the point. The point it. is they're low proof weeders. This one smells great, whatever this is. I like this one. You like it? That smells like red jello. See, this feels like it's got a little more sweetness on it. Mm hmm. On the nose. Oh my gosh, that one's the best on the front of the palette. Makers I have never liked. No. If you don't think red jello when you drink that, you're messed up. You're wrong. It is That's red got jello. the most whiskey flavor of any of them so far. It actually sits around for a minute. A little soft, gentle. That's a caresser. That feels like a wheat whiskey though. When you when you tell someone like weeders are a little funky, they yeah. got that wheat funk on there. That's got it. It's just got that little <laughs> bit of like muskmelon note that we get a lot on weeders. I'll never not. I don't know what this is. I need to put this in my brain. Red Jello. Huh? Every time I smell Red Jello, I just know what bottle it is. Very excited this, to find out. I swear for you. to God, this smells. That is a very interesting note. I get a little waxiness off this too, like just a hint of that candle wax note. That's nice though. Mm -hmm. It's gen. It's, it's it's just like a soft. This is like a a, a feather a down pillow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You rest it on. Like, oh, that's nice. Okay, on to D. Man, whole. Oh. Lee smokes. That smells like sugar, like sugar dipped strawberries. Uh, I was gonna say black, like a really ripe blackberry. Ooh, I don't, I don't, I don't hate that. I know those are different, but here's the thing: the, a ripe blackberry is phenomenal. Yeah, it's just hard to get them. Yes, a perfect you blackberry. You gotta wade through an entire tin of shit. hundred percent. To get one perfect blackberry, yes. and you're like, oh. But when you it. get it, yeah, a, a good blackberry is one of the best. We have blackberry bushes going this year at your house. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Got it from Costco's. Did you plant them or is it on it's deck a, garden it's thing? It's in a, uh, a planter right oh, now okay. until it gets a little bit bigger. Will you put it outside? Can, yeah. Oh shit. I want it to Do they get go thorny? down the entire side of my house. Oh yeah. Okay. I would love a hedge of blackberries. That'd be cool. You just pick them at your own home. Well, that's amazing. That tastes exactly like it smells. It's not complex. None of them really are. That's fantastic. It tastes just like it smells. And then it goes away really fast. It almost tastes like a cotton candy grape, like the green ones. There's something like a little sharp in there. Like a- Oh, interesting. Marker note? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not quite, but like there's a little sharp alcohol note in there. Not like ECBPA. No. One, whatever it was. A122 or something? Yes. Yeah. Not like that, but I, it's, um, it is, it's like the markery ethanol. -ish. It's like a raw yeah. alcohol note, which is weird out of a 90 or. But yeah, it's not like it's hot. Okay. I do like that one. Anyways, this one is really good. All right, quick water break. We'll run it back the other way and uh, do our ranking. How about that? Dude, I we'll do a quick. Really quick before we do that. Okay, really quick. I bet you money that 90 proofers, like, they just don't have a good enough finish, huh? This is why people think that low proof whiskeys don't have good finishes. This is why. Because this, these are more normalized. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't have the hyper special. Until you have something that's like hyper aged, yeah. like usually 10 plus years, yeah. you get something at 90 proof. You're like, wow, mm -hmm. that actually has a finish. Yep. There's something else going on. Honestly, water here's what I will say really quick. I don't I, dislike any of these. That's what I was just thinking yeah. too. All right, sorry. All right, quick water break. I'm gonna start back on D. Backwards. Fudge. Back Does this front. smell great? I think nose wise, this might be my favorite. Nose wise, it's, uh, this, it's not. It's not close for me. I mean, it's it's actually full. Yeah. Most 90 proofers are lacking something in the nose palette, like everything Dan was talking about. You get so much more water in them, it really mutes them, but man, that is a very, very full nose out of it. As we get into summer, these are gonna be like more mm -hmm. normalized, or I, I mean, they're obviously pretty normal, but these are gonna become more consumed as it gets hotter, because yeah. you don't want hazmat when it's 90. Well, we had a frost warning uh, a week ago, yeah. and then yesterday it was 90, yeah. so. Welcome to Michigan. But this is kind of like, it's good timing. Outdoor whiskey? Yeah, yeah, because it is. It's like, I went camping, brought these. I freaking went out on my deck, smoked a cigar, brought these. Like, these are great. 90, 90 to 100 proof That's in fantastic. the summer is great. Okay. D is it. phenomenal Let me see. in this lineup. D is phenomenal. Okay. Oh, okay. You know it's weird? It's nutty. Yeah, I got a Snickers note yeah. on it. A little bit of nougat. Oh my, but I love it though. Yeah. Not, okay, I said nutty. Not like we don't like nut. There, There's a time and a place for nuttiness, for nuts, some would say. 
this is a time and a place. If this is larceny, I'm just wrong. This smells phenomenal. That's pretty good. Man, I talk shit about, definitely about makers and definitely about larceny. And yeah, not we've been so wrong much before. About the Recently, yeah. we've talked trash about larceny. That's why I thought it was really good to revisit it because we've talked so much, like even when we did the review of this, we talked about not liking larceny that much. All right, I'm gonna go to B. That is like, it's it's right chocolatey, now. it's nutty. I'm talking about C, sorry. Yep. It's chocolatey and it's nutty and it's sweet. It's good. See this. All right, on to B. That ain't it. That's not it. It's it's green. Spicy. Yeah, it's green er than the other ones. I think now it is. That's a good point. It's way spicier, more rye yeah. on the back. It's definitely spicier in the mid. I think Which just makes it a, linger. Yeah. The spice lingers, but it's not a flavor. It's just it's I don't a little spicy. Like it though. I don't know. It's fine. Honestly, going this way, that's my least favorite. Okay, on the A. It's got a lot of honey. Ooh, A smell. D might be my favorite nose, but this is more complex than D. There's like honey and like a, a light cedar box. I mean, nice Spanish oak. Dude, this smells, this, smells man, different. this might be the best nose. I don't know. It's between this and D for the nose, for sure, for mm -hmm. me. A little nutty in a little like bit. The, the mid to late palate. Man, that's good though. What is it? Well. This oh, and, no. Can I say, this and C are the most uh, similar. One? Yeah, okay. I want to say like intriguing almost because like these have more of the finish that I think I was missing yeah. in the first drink through. Yeah. Um, very, very interesting. Oh, man. Do you have an order set? Uh, I'm really close. Did you just shake your head no? You're such a piece of shit. What? I'm so close. And you <laughs> said no, that's discounting my ability to be timely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, it makes sense though. Like history would track that way. Yeah, true. Uh, okay, we're gonna go do probably like A or B or so. I, I need to do one. Um, we'll be back with final orders. Wrap it up. All right, we got Magnum orders. It. It's been 20. What? <clears throat> are two of yours really close? Yeah, last Man, place. A and D are so close for me. B. B. Okay. Third, for, where are you at then? I don't, I just, for you. just keep going. You do yours, I'll do mine. You Third. Do, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. Third place for me is A. I'm, I'm with you on that. So this is what I was trying to determine. Second place for me is D. At, we have the same order. First place for me is Holy C. Shit. We have the same order. Any guesses on anything? I, we both believe that um, this is special reserve, D. Yeah, D is 100% Buffalo Trace. It feels very Buffalo Trace. Man, that profile hard to beat. What are you shot down here? Less, I think a little less shock than I thought. Oh, I'm way up. Let's reshoot it. Let's reshoot it. Let's reshoot it. I'm way shocked. And, but I'm really shocked about first. All right, ready? Makers. Last place. Um, letter B. I'm going to guess that is Larson. Yep. Okay. Wouldn't we guess that on drinking it? We guess that was Makers, if I'm being completely honest. Okay. It's floral. It's more. So A has to be Bardstown. Yep. Well. Sorry. A is Green, uh, River. Green River. D has got to be Special Reserve. Yep. And then Makers just won. Oh, no. Damn it, Gabby! <laughs> <laughs> My wife is cackling through the door right now. It's Gabby's fault. That we put Makers first. I told her I'd pay her. <laughs> that's that's amazing. That's great whiskey. You know why? Three, seven, fives. That's, this is how you do. But what you want to do with Makers is buy the little out. ones. Palette was true. We don't like Larceny. Larceny's mediocrity, not it for dude. Me. Definitely not. Also, it for me. here's what I would love to say out loud, legitimately: the A and D were close. so close that they were the only two I had to can keep blinding oh, back listen, and forth. I, I agree. Um, so Green River and Special Reserve. Now, mind you, significantly different profiles. There's a sharpness in the Special Reserve, I agree. but the nose for me, I think, is what gave a little tip to the Special Reserve. That's I it. Love that it's so good. How, why does Maker smell like a so Larceny basically, barrel yeah. I would put I, only first, second, third. I, I would tie these two. I'm with you on the dead tie. last first. I'm so upset. I'm genuinely, and I mean this from my the bottom and the top of my heart, meaning the entirety. And of it's it. enlarged, so it's a big one. Green River weeded and Special Reserve, different profiles, but so close from like a which one's better standpoint for me. Yeah. The fact that Makers won, this is for me the equivalent of putting the Winter Night Stream last. Yeah, it's I think honestly because so. I just don't like Makers. And I like Never Makers, did. so I'm happy this happened. Man, Makers 46's cast strength is so good, and normal Makers is not. And this, 
these are like opposite sides of the, the same coin. You know what I'm saying? I hate this. Every time, every time we do Whiskey Wars, in which we hated, mind you, Larceny did lose, and we don't, we've always said we didn't like normal Larceny. True on that one, I like it. But man, did the other, the evil twin won, which is a bummer. Is this the evil twin in your yeah. house right now? Yeah, because the other one's this one. These are the evil twins. Wow. Poop one and poop two. Okay. It's like we're, Dr. We're Seuss. out of here. We are out of here.